Hello there, my fellow spellcasters, and welcome back to another lore video from Warhammer Fantasy. Today we're gonna be returning to the wonderfully diverse topic of the Imperial Colleges of Magic. Also, unless I'm mistaken, this is gonna be the last of the eight Colleges of Magic that remains to be covered. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Light Order. Fortunately, for those of you who are fans of the series, this might also very well be the most lore-rich of all the colleges. Today we're gonna start with what this group is and what it does. Also, apologies if my voice may sound a bit uh, unusual or coarse, but after all, I am sick with the flu. I'm also your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, shall we? The Order of Light comprises those magisters who study and embrace the White Wind of Magic, also called Haish. This White Wind can illuminate and sometimes even blind. It seems to fall from the sun, and it is everywhere, momentarily, before fading into the earth. Ever elusive, it is also the wind of wisdom and truth. It can bring life, healing, or utter destruction. The complex spells cast with Haish are often released with a blinding white light, and many are cast with elaborate complicated rituals. Haish is the magic of illumination and holy radiance. It is the etheric manifestation of light, including the uses that light can be put to, but some abstract concepts as well, like enlightenment or purity. Haish can be seen as the light which banishes the darkness and keeps the unknown horrors of darkness at bay. Haish can be compared to a constant and steady luminescence completely opposite to the randomness of chaos. It can also tend to be the most difficult of all the winds of magic to channel into a spell. The nature of the White Order's magic is as hard to pin down as the magic that forms and drives it. The spells of the White Order do tend to fall into three main categories though. Illumination, Protection and Healing, and Abjuration. In their turn, the spells of Illumination fall into two distinct subcategories. Those of actual Illumination, as in the creation of Dazzling Light, and the Illumination of the Mind, such as the ability to inspire or see through a falsehood. The Hierophants are renowned for their mastery of light and brightness, and they are said to be able to bend any kind of luminance to their will in almost any kind of way. Where a Pyromancer of the Bright Order creates bright, burning fireballs, or a wall of fire, a Hierophant is able to concentrate light into a tightly focused beam. While this is less destructive than the powers of a Pyromancer, it is far more controllable and able to be directed because of it. The Order of Light teaches the importance of the sanctity of mortal existence and possesses a great many spells dedicated to healing injury and protection. The drive to heal and protect is more geared towards the preservation of the spiritual being of intelligent and sentient life, rather than the mortal body, which is more the concern of the magisters of Giran. Because of this, a Hierophant tends to be peaceful and non-violent, but unlike the sisters of Shalia, they are not total pacifists either. Against the creatures and servants of chaos and dark magic, the Hierophants are utterly ruthless. To the Hierophants, the minds and souls of the Servants of Chaos are filled with darkness, and their creature's natural luminescence has dimmed or has been extinguished altogether. And so, the Hierophants do not view such beings as worthy of the gift of life and consciousness. The abjuration practiced by the Hierophants of the White Order is not about summoning spirits or various beings but it is instead a form of extremely powerful and dependable exorcism. The exorcism practiced by the priests of Mor or Sigmar relies on invoking the god in question and the supreme faith of the exorcising priest. The exorcism practiced by the Hierophants, on the other hand, relies upon their ability to focus the searing light of Haish into the possessed person, driving the offending entity into the light of day. 
However, the magic of Haish has very limited success when exorcising the spirits of dead people which are not tainted by dark magic. If Haish is the light that banishes the darkness, it cannot banish a soul that is already luminescent but only lost. The demons and the spirits of the blackest magic, like raves for example, are a different matter altogether. The Hierophants of the White Order are able to drive these creatures back to the darkness and the realm of chaos. Out of all the aspects of magic that the humans were taught to embrace by the elves, Haish was the hardest to corrupt, and therefore its users and advocates were the most difficult for chaos to prey on, making their existence the hardest of all. Darkness was simply the absence of light, so Teclis told them and so they have to take their light to the very darkest corners of the Empire and the darkest corners of humanity's soul. The Hierophants were to devote their lives to hunting down and casting out demons and evil spirits which plagued the lands and minds of men. They were not to follow the ways of the witch hunters though, slaying and burning all they found corrupted. Instead, the Hierophants were to destroy only the darkness within, and save the person if possible. Outside of their order, the life of a Hierophant is a lonely one. They spend their lives traveling secretly from place to place, dealing with hauntings, possessions, and other supernatural phenomena caused by the demonic influence of the Chaos Gods. Because of the nature of their calling, the Hierophants often appear in places unexpectedly. If the possessing demons were aware of the Hierophant's presence too early, it could cause harm to a host and flee to a new one. The goal of the White Order is to rid the world of the taint of chaos, of demons and of dark magic, which, as you might imagine, is a never-ending and largely thankless job. It is rumored that the creatures and objects that the Hierophant cannot destroy or banish are instead bound and captured. The Hierophants then trap the dark objects in a dark magical prison somewhere in the Empire, to which they are the sole keepers. Out of all the colleges of magic, the Light Order is maybe the most peculiar. Because the Wind of Magic Day Channel is so fickle, they harness the energies of the Wind Haish using groups of trained acolytes which combine their powers in a careful ritual. When the arcane currents that empower their skills are channeled correctly, the Wizards of the Light Order can manifest their magic as pillars of blinding white fire or lances of pure energy that can blast unnatural creatures back into the realm of chaos. Indeed, many light spells are so powerful that they could obliterate an individual if he would try to cast them unaided. However, using the strength of a choir of trained apprentices to control how much energy is focused into the Hierophant and how quickly, the Magisters of the White Order can create enchantments far beyond the powers of many other colleges. Of course, not all the spells of the Hierophants require the aid of many apprentices, only the most powerful or the most convoluted. The Magisters of the Order of Light are also the most accomplished and insightful philosophers in the Old World. That is why they're sometimes called the Order of the Wise. The White Order also studies philosophies examining the nature of reality, including the pursuit and understanding of the principles, relations, and nature of existence itself. In other words, the Hierophants of the College of Light are also metaphysicians of the highest order. This college is usually in very good standing at the courts of the nobility living along the northern borders of the Empire. Such rulers often seek the counsel of the Hierophants because of the White Order's ability to see the truth concerning the contamination of chaos. They also receive large financial endowments from the Emperor, and it is in fact rumored that out of all the colleges of magic, the Light Order receives the biggest amounts. Some whisper this is because the Emperor knows some dark secret of the Order, and if that secret would be exposed or destroyed, it could prove the undoing of Aldorf or even the Empire itself. Because of their ability to banish the powers of darkness, Hierophants are often employed by Imperial armies to fight against the followers of Chaos. 
In addition, it is not uncommon for hierophants to be asked to screen soldiers, militiamen, and sometimes even witch hunters who had had contact with the emissaries of darkness, to make certain that they do not become corrupted by chaos. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the Light Order, their anti-chaos practices, their types of magic, and their duties for today. Out of all the colleges of magic, I think it is safe to say that these guys are the more or less stereotypical good wizards fighting evil. Of course, all the kinds of magisters fight chaos in their own way, but the Light of Haish is literally the opposite of chaos more than any other wind of magic. Now, are you fans of the Light Order? What do you like or dislike most about them? In case you're curious, in the next episode I'm gonna go over the Magisters themselves. Do share any thoughts or questions in the comments below if you have any. If you found the episode informative or entertaining, please click the like, share and subscribe buttons for future content. Thanks a lot for watching to the end, and I wish you all a healthy and awesome day. May the blessings of Sigmar be upon you.